Say good morning, goat lovers. Buenos dias. No. <laughs> morning, goat lovers. Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. And it is Monday morning. I have a lot of stuff to get done with the goats today. So I'm going to start, obviously, the morning chores, milking them and bottle feeding, but I have to get their hooves trimmed and uh, a couple of them need vac um, worms. So the two, the two does that recently just had their babies, I'm gonna worm them and trim their hooves. And I also gotta do a milk shave on them there so that we can start drinking the milk. So I'm just gonna get them milked and while I have them on the stand, I'm actually gonna trim their hooves real quick. Um, it's only been, Six weeks since I've trimmed their hooves and they're getting pretty gnarly already, so I want to make sure to keep up on them. There will be a link in the description below also on how to trim hooves a little more detail than I'll give today. These girls, um, the first three milkers, the first ones that kitted, they've already been um, wormed, so they don't need wormed. Been. I have to look at my calendar, but I believe tomorrow will be two weeks, and that's about how long um, I wait for them before we start drinking the milk. So I'm going to get the other ones wormed, the two that just recently had kids. That way, you know, in two weeks after that, I can start adding that milk into what we drink. And because I'm doing all this, this milk here, I'm, I'm just going to end up pitching out. It'll, it'll get dirty, so... <laughs> So this is Cammie, she's the one who actually had the quads. Um, she's really producing a lot of milk, so I'm excited. I'm going to put her on milk test here at the show, and it's just a one-day test. I'll make sure to have that footage of that and how that works, but I'm pretty confident she's going to earn her star. She could have earned it last year as a first freshener for sure, but time frame wise it just didn't work out for her to even be, in, be at that show. But she is one of my goats that I need wormed, her and Elsa. I guess I have a teats on this girl. I don't know if you can see them, but they're huge for a Nigerian. One of the things I have been trying to improve on in my herd is, is larger teats. Um, so the bucks I have that I breed, I make sure that they have large teats in their lines. And so far, out of the does I've retained, they're lucky is, is definitely throwing larger teats. So I'm really, really happy with that. And this girl here also last year with she had her quads and then she, one of her does sold as a um, bottle baby. So I kept the kids on her a little too long and she just had the three of them. And they completely um, favored one size and I was really hoping to correct a lot of it with the second freshen because one side was much bigger, it kind of makes it look a little um, lopsided even. So, it's, a, it's still a work in progress. It's definitely better than last year, so hopefully with a third freshen, that will, that will get much more corrected than even this year, I'm hoping. All right, so I got her hooves trimmed. Just going to, I already just, since there's only two, I just got the shots all ready in the house. And I do give an injectable um, wormer. And I'm just gonna put it right here in her shoulder, kind of armpit area. Clean it up with alcohol. The area that I'm gonna be injecting. If you guys want, I will actually put a link for um, worming your goats, 
there's a video for that and I'll put it in the description below um, so you guys can have more detail on how to worm a goat also. <laughs> All right, so I have the girls, um, all their hooves trimmed and wormed the two does I needed to worm. So I'm gonna give them a little bit of time to eat so they're not as inconvenienced when I, when I give them their milkshake. But I wanted to check on the garden and the fig tree, so you guys may as well come with. You guys, this is crazy. It's been a week and this fig tree, the leaves are getting huge and there's little figs everywhere. So check it out. Look. Big leaves. There's a tiny fig. There's some bigger ones in here. Let's see if you guys can see that one there. I really can't believe how quickly it's blooming. Awesome. Our garden has uh, sprouted an awful lot in the last week also. Everything's doing really well. So check it out. We got some beans sprouting. Ooh, potato. Looks like the only... Nope, look, there's another one. Nice. Radishes. We got our spinach. There's the red leaf coming in. That one's hard to see, but... And our lettuces are coming in. Our broccoli's doing good, getting bigger. Can't wait to be eating from this. All right, so I brought Cammy back here. I am going to shave her. Um, now my intention here isn't to make it beautiful by any means. I'm just trying to minimize the, the hair that falls into the milk, as well as any dirt that gets collected on the hair. Um, so I just, it's just a cleaner way, I suppose. So again, I'm not trying to make it look pretty. I'm just gonna get their back end um, and under their belly a little bit and just around the udder. So, for instance, all this hair under here, I'm going to shave, oops, you guys can't see that. All this hair under here, I'm going to just shave to about right here, and all around the udders, and, you know, clean up the tail a little bit, and, and the back legs. So, but other than that, that's all I'm looking for. So I'm going to try it without actually strapping her legs. But, and I'm just using a 10. She's being really good, so. Now with the tail, I'm just going to come up, shave the sides, then I'm going to shave downwards on the top because it'll make it a little longer than a 10. Trim some of that off. Now on her back end here, her back legs, I'm also gonna shave down. It is a little bit easier to shave um, 
when they're bagged up, but I wasn't going to make them wait. And I like to stay as close to 12 and 12 as possible on my milkings. Um, it keeps them, keeps them producing more. So for the underside, then I'm just going to trim these long hairs. Here on the leg. And I'm just looking um, about yay far up their belly. Now they're real shaving. Um, well, I'm, I am going to shave them down here soon within the next couple of weeks because we're going to be going to show and that will be a pretty shave. I'll be a lot more careful. Their hair will grow quite a bit from now to then and I do shave their udders bald so for show. Now of course this isn't something that you have to do. Um, I just prefer doing it. Again, it just gets a lot less hair and any dirt that gets collected in the hair from them laying down in the pens um, from, from falling into our milk. So I'm gonna go around and get her other side. All right, guys, so it's really just that simple. Um, took, you know, hardly any time at all, and, and now I'll have a lot less uh, dirty milk. So, all right, let's see if she'll show you here. Just, see, it's just a lot cleaner area. Um, no big long hairs that are going to be falling in the milk, or at least minimizing it drastically. And it took no time at all for me to do that, so... It's just something I do with my milkers when I'm milking them. Even if I don't take them to show, I want to make sure that it's as clean as possible for the milk that we're consuming. So I am going to go out there and drag them in here one by one. I have four more milkers to go, so uh, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.